哇 ，can buy four D 了啦 ，one zero zero nine is our daily case count for eighteen September。Hello, everybody. This is Chris from Chris Team, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So, MOH already confirmed already. Ah,、uh, as of ah、uh, 12 p.m. 18 September, Singapore have 1,009 ah、uh, daily COVID case count, ah,、uh, and that's 1,009. Okay, if you can remember the last time, right? Singapore actually reported more than a thousand ah case count daily. Ah,、uh, is at ah、uh, 23rd April 2020. That's about more than a year ago. Okay, and ah、uh, very soon after that, right? Wow, we went into circuit breaker already. Ah,、uh, but then this time round, oh, oh, business as usual, leh. B H U, leh. You know, in the mall, right? There's still a lot of people. You know, very crowded, very flat with people. One. Ah,、uh, the only difference now is that you see people wear mask, lah. Ah, last time we don't, lah. Ah, then all the Gopi Tiam, oh, wow, that one is even more surprising. You know, Gopi Tiam, right? We have this ah、uh, two packs per table, ah. But then I don't know why, oh. All the ah、uh, uncle, oh, they seems to be able to. Ah,、uh, the table lah seems to get closer and closer. Then they start to mingle together, ah,、uh, to drink beer lah. You know, then all the sin, all the beer, anti lah. Ah,、uh, I think with all this activity ongoing, it's not surprise ah.、Uh, okay, we are now at one thousand. Very soon ah,、uh, we will hit two thousand. Then before you know it, right, we hit four thousand already. Of the one thousand and nine cases, oh, one thousand and four ah are local infections ah,、uh, and then majority ah、uh, are in the communities oh,、uh, as compared to the dormitories. In fact, ah.、Uh, Ah,、uh, I think nine hundred and twenty-six cases ah、uh, are the local community cases, whereas only seventy-eight are in the dormitories. See lah, with no tightly measures, this is what we get lor. So ah,、uh, in case a lot of you like me ah,、uh, a bit lao hua lao hua cannot see the graph very well, right? Actually ah,、uh, seventy-three percent of all these cases are actually sixty years and younger leh. In fact, oh,、uh, more than half ah,、uh, more than half of these seventy-three percent ah are actually forty years and younger leh. That means ah.、Uh, A lot of our younger population are actually getting infected. Don't know should I say hang or not lah. Okay, ever since our our opening of borders ah, okay, ah、uh, from the 18 September data, we only see five imported cases ah. Okay, and likely ah, all these ah have already been placed on stay home notice or isolated already. Lah, upon arrival into Singapore. In fact, ah, of these five right, okay, one of them ah was actually detected ah upon arrival in Singapore. Whereas four others ah was detected. To uh become sick ah、uh, when they are on their stay home notice or being isolated lah.、Uh. So you see, ah、uh, luckily we have our、uh, stay home notice or isolation eh. So it is very important. Ah,、uh, imagine ah、uh, if you don't have all these stay home notice or isolation for all these ah、uh, important cases eh.、Uh, all these people will have roam around you know and then they are spreading the COVID love to everybody already. Okay, now ah、uh, we have about eight hundred and sixty three ah COVID patient ah、uh, oh, being hospitalized ah.、Uh. Okay, I don't know whether this is the big number or not. Okay, but then、uh, I can tell you ah,、uh, wow, it's a upward going trend. Ah,、uh, much like rocket going up. Ah,、uh, then wow, it's upward trend one. Okay, I mean I hope lah. Okay, ah,、uh, with this I、uh, at least ah、uh, our these ah、uh, hospitals ah、uh, have enough resources ah、uh, to cater for all these ah、uh, COVID patient as well as ah、uh, those non COVID patient. Ah,、uh. I mean. Remember, right? In my last few videos, I did say this before. Okay, the worst case, ah,、uh, is that we allocate all our resources, right, for all these COVID ah、uh, cases. Then, oh, all the non-COVID cases, one, ah,、uh, what, ah,、uh, we got no resources for them, no care for them, and that is the worst thing to happen, ah.、Uh. Then, oh, we have also another a hundred and twenty-three, ah, okay, patient, ah,、uh, they are either in ICU, ah,、uh, or need oxygen, ah.、Uh. Okay, this number may not look big, lah. Okay, but if you go into percentage, ah, it's actually fourteen percent of all those people who are hospitalized, ah. Okay, fourteen percent of them actually require to stay in the ICU or need oxygen, eh. Ah, so you imagine, ah, for every twenty people, right, who is hospitalized because of COVID, ah, almost three of them, ah, ah, is either in ICU or need oxygen, eh. Hey, don't play, play that. This number are quite serious. That our health minister also say that okay, Singapore right, we can cater to about three hundred ah ICU or oxygen cases ah ah quite comfortably lah. So ah now we are at one two three. This is about forty one percent already. That shouldn't we start to plan plan a bit ah ah? Will we actually really going hit the three hundred or not? I think will leh. Okay, M O H ah is monitoring ten active clusters ah. Okay. And ah,、uh, not too sure whether you all noticed it just now. Okay, Pfizer Singapore is actually one of the cluster lah. Okay, okay, there is area ah, Pfizer Singapore right. Okay, they are not part of the production chain of the ah、uh, vaccine. Okay, but then from a layman point of view ah, 
okay even if they are not part of the uh, vaccine production uh chain right okay at least i will have thought uh, okay uh people who work in pfizer uh, or all these uh, pharmaceutical company uh, they usually work in a very safe environment very clean environment uh. i remember i watched all the tv show like what are people who work in all these pharmaceutical they always wear those white color suit one suit that one 100 suit that one and you know they have actually uh I would say 100 to 200 percent more strict uh, safety measures to uh, uh follow one you know as compared to normal companies that's why i was quite surprised uh, to actually see them in the cluster list or maybe uh because the staff there uh, you know all the researcher uh, they want to uh yenju or research on the viruses uh, that's why they all come together to go and see the virus and that's why uh, when they all come together uh, the covid virus spread law so uh majority of these classes uh, as you can see uh, they are all due to workplace transmission one. but i said before in my previous video already okay once people start to go back to office right go back to office to work go to their workplace to work right workplace transmission will start all these people right okay unknowingly right they will be infected and they will bring the virus back home and when they are back at home right they will start to spread to their family members and all these family members, right, then they will start to spread among their communities that they are in, be it in school, uh, in the market or uh, whatever. Uh, okay, they will start to spread one. And this will go on. That's why I say work from home is very important. Where is it? Do we want to wait until uh, more workplace transmission cluster is being formed? Then we start to worry. Then we start to implement work from home instead. But that time uh, too late. Uh, that time it will be another circuit breaker already. Not work from home as default. Even at the current situation, oh, I don't see much action uh, from our Tinghu uh, other than the fact that they mentioned uh, what uh, starting 27 September uh, okay, for all the primary school and special education school, uh, they're going to have this home-based learning for 10 days. Other than this, I, I don't hear or see any other action from Tinghu already. Then for this home-based learning, uh, Okay, la, I would say it's quite good because the cases of uh, children gonna infected by uh, COVID-19 is high and those hospitalized are also still quite high. La. Okay, and then for children, definitely it's good news. Ma. You know, don't need to go to school or can stay at home. They definitely love it one. But home-based learning is going to be hell. H-E-L-L -L, la, for parents. La. Yo. Oh, as her parent, uh, I can tell you, uh, it's going to be the 10 days of hell, you know. Oh, allow it. You need to juggle between your work and then you have to monitor your children doing the HBR. I mean, for those of you, uh, your kids uh, can do their HBR alone one. Uh. Okay, uh, fine. Uh, but for those who cannot one, uh, like my kid, uh, wow, you, need to, you need to monitor them. Like, then you need to like, wow, get them to do their HBR. Like. Oh, yo, that was really hell. Like. Then uh, I can imagine, for those parents uh, who needs to go to work one. How? When your children is HBL, how? Okay, uh, I'm not trying to chow gang here, uh, okay? But you all can see that all the active cluster now, uh, majority of them are actually because of workplace transmission one. So why our thing who are up to this point uh, still don't want to announce work from home as default? Leh? Are we really going to wait until the uh, daily case count become 2,000 or 4,000 or worse, 8,000? Oh, I cannot imagine that. 4,000, 8,000 uh, is already very high that we are in one of the highest uh, countries uh, to have a, such high number daily case count. Eh. Wow. And I tell you, uh, if we really ever reach that stage, uh, okay, if we if work from home, uh, it's no use already. But right then, uh, I think no choice already, no. we've got to go to another lockdown, we've got to go for another circuit breaker already. Alright, that's it for this video. So if you love this video, okay, please remember to share. And if you like it, please give it a big thumbs up, okay? Don't be gamsy, but give it a big thumbs up, uh, okay? And if you're new to my channel, like I said before, okay, please don't be spicy. Go and click the subscribe button. Click one time channel, uh. don't click two times later, you will unsubscribe one. Uh. And you see the bell button. Uh. Uh, that one uh, won't take you more than two seconds to click it and it's foc one so go and click it so that we notify of any new videos that i will be doing uh. so till my next video okay please remember uh, when you go out wear your mask and stay safe okay and this is chris Sal, signing off